Wild Country History Museum includes permanent exhibitions that tell the story of the people that live and have made the upcountry wonderful for the last 300 years. Starting with the Native American tribes and moving forward into the Civil Rights Movement, we celebrate the people that have made this area successful through their struggles throughout history and challenges to their triumphs. We love to tell the story of the individuals who have made this area unique. Some of our key exhibitions include the Upcountry Frontier, where we feature both the Native American tribes that populated the Upcountry, the Catawba and the Cherokee. We also feature the Scotch-Irish immigrants who first populated this area from the European immigrant side. One such immigrant was Richard Paris, and Richard Paris was of Scotch-Irish descent. He was a farmer in Virginia who moved south through the Cherokee Nation through his trading rights. Um, he was rather a seedy character and has lots of interesting parts to his past, but today's visitors are most likely to know him because Paris Mountain State Park is named after Richard Paris. Other exhibitions that we have include our Crossroads exhibit, where I am seated right now. In our Crossroads exhibition, we feature Vardry Mackby, who's known as the father of Greenville. He purchased the city of Greenville over 200 years ago, changing its name from Pleasantburg to Greenville. And he really made it into the place that we see today. Many of the streets that people drive on and the businesses that they drive by have their foundation back during that period of time with Vardry Mackby. He set aside land for the first four churches in downtown Greenville helped to promote the building of schools for both men and women at that time. And most importantly, he brought the railroad through Greenville, which helped to connect this little upcountry village with the rest of the state and helped move Greenville into the future. Upstairs in our exhibition on the textile industry, we feature wonderful artifacts that help bring to light the history of the textile industry. The textile industry was key to Greenville being put on the map. By 1917, Greenville was known as the textile capital of the world for not only the production of fabric that came out of the upcountry, but also for the innovative technology that was being seen in many of the mills across Greenville County. The textile industry lasted well into the 20th and even the 21st century, helping to contribute to many other missions in our American history from World War I to the space race. In Camp Upcountry, we celebrate the history of the men and women who have served our nation. While our goal is to represent the events that took place here in our geographic footprint, the Camp Upcountry exhibition helps to tell the story of all of the men and women who were trained at infantry training camps across the upcountry. From the Spanish-American War to World War I into World War II, many infantry soldiers from across the East Coast were trained right here in the upcountry of South Carolina before being sent far and wide to serve our nation. The Upcountry History Museum is open from 10 to 5 Tuesday through Saturday and 1 to 5 on Sundays. During the summer, we open for seven days a week, including Mondays with our regular 10 to 5 hours. The museum has regular admission ranging from $4 for children to $6 for adults. Group discounts are available with advanced registration. And of course, field trips for school children are always welcome and encouraged.